In 2011, Wisconsin law enforcement tallied more than 28,000 cases of domestic abuse. The number staggering. That raw number also can seem overwhelming. However, a group of officers is looking to prevent that kind of violence, stop potential repeat offenders, or even worse. Our Jeremy Ross has this Fox 6 exclusive. Police, we need to come in. They combat criminal desperation. Come to the door right now. With determination. All right, we're getting in the front door. And in this case, observation. This is U.S. Marshal video of a suspect hiding in a dark attic. A small camera quickly spotted the fugitive. Through technology, the wanted man is flushed out. <laughs> but the disturbance at this front door is nothing. Can we get the boomstick? <laughs> Compared to the disturbance created long before law enforcement's visit. To the door, U.S. Marshals. The roundup of fugitives on this day is focused on a particular kind of offender. Where'd he go? And house by house. I'm innocent. Marshals say the people in handcuffs have one thing in common. The way he violated was uh, domestic violence. Uh, domestic violence battery warrant. Beat her up a number of times. He uh, punched her in the face. He's got uh, domestic abuse. He took their like 50 inch flat screen, threw it on her. They obviously have anger management issues. That... Supervisory Deputy U.S. Marshal Michael Schulte gave Fox 6 exclusive access to a targeted sweep of fugitives linked to domestic violence. A type of offender posing risks not just to law enforcement, but also to the women they are trying to protect. It can definitely make the situation uh, volatile. That volatility surfaced in Brookfield this past October when 45-year-old Radcliffe Houghton opened fire inside the Azana Salon and Spa before taking his own life. He murdered his ex-wife and two others inside. The killings were the result of domestic unrest erupting into fatal violence. A domestic violence isn't going to be tolerated. You know, and the Marshal Service will take, uh, take it seriously to try and arrest any fugitives that... Uh, that have been involved in a domestic violence situation. He uh, punched her in the face, shattered her orbital bone. This fugitive roundup has law enforcement looking for 28-year-old Antonio Pugh. He was angered about food preparation. Him and his girlfriend got in an argument. That led to hospitalization. Because she fried his pizza rolls instead of putting them in the microwave, allegedly. Law enforcement says Pugh violated his parole, leading to marshals surrounding a north side home. Oh, this way. Eventually finding him in a closet. I'm innocent. Denying the accusations, but not law enforcement's efforts to take him in. Pew cooperates outside the home. Hi, man, watch your head. But past victims aren't always girlfriends or wives. And they've assaulted in some way someone uh, that they're related to, that they love, a family member. Yep. Law enforcement leaves this home with 41 year old Brian Bisworm. Back in 2008, U.S. Marshals say he was accused of punching and trying to wrap a belt around the neck of his father who was 72 at the time. Investigators say the violence was triggered because Bisworm's father refused to give him $140. He's accused of violating his parole. You know, if they're willing to hurt somebody they love, you know, it, they would probably wouldn't even think twice about hurting a police officer. It is a peaceful conclusion to what can sometimes be a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek with fugitives who don't want to be found and, if cornered, have a history of lashing out. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. The sweep took place February 4th through the 15th and took marshals to more than 30 different homes. Law enforcement made 23 arrests. They were on a vacation of their lifetime. And, and now they've vanished. What happened to a young couple from California?